G'day guys, Chris from Core Electronics again. Today I want to show you the PyTrack from PyCom. It's a backpack that you can put on your microcontrollers that includes a GPS that covers every kind of GPS you want, as well as a three-axis accelerometer. So have a look on the bench with me and I'll take you for a tour around the board. All right, so on the left here, we have the expansion board 2.0, which I've already done videos on. And on the right here, we have the PyTrack. Quite obviously, you can see the large package here that is the GPS receiver. And well, I found out that GPS is actually um, an acronym that describes the American GPS satellite system. There are other systems as well, including Galileo and GLONASS, and there's also a Japanese one as well, but these systems are all supported. So this basically supports three different global GPS systems. The other main feature of the board is in the center here is the three axis accelerometer. Otherwise, the two boards are virtually, virtually the same. You see there's not a second row of female pin headers, white, like the expansion board 2.0 provides. This one is just designed to stay on the back of your microcontroller and provide the GPS and accelerometer features. Again, you've got a micro SD card, built-in antenna. So there you go. It's a great little board, and it's mostly for adding GPS and or accelerometers to your project. If you come with me now to the PC, I'll just show you what we've got documented there. So under the heading PyCom PyTrack Overview, which you can get to easily by putting PyCom in the search box. We'll come down and have a look at the list of features here. Unfortunately, this diagram has a little error. At the bottom of the diagram, it says the accelerometer is this little component here, which I'm assuming is a resistor. It's actually um, this one in the center here that I've already pointed out. As with the PySense, there's a 10 pin uh, point here that you could solder on pin headers. Um, it doesn't give you access to all of the pins, but only a few essential ones. And so running down the page, I've documented a comparison here that shows you the expansion board 2.0 versus PySense versus PyTrack, so you can see the differences. And yeah, the major difference here is the GPS and the accelerometer, which is available on the PyTrack. As you see here in note one at the bottom, GNSS, System supported, GPS, which is American, GLONASS, which is Russian, Galileo, which is European, and the QZSS is a Japan-only a Japan only Japanese system. Um, all right, so down below we have the pinouts, and you can see fully documented there what that uh, double row 10 pin uh, socket is there if you want to solder on a pin header. And uh, I don't think there's anything more that I need to cover there. So there you go. There's the PyTrack from PyCon. In our next video, we'll do a getting started guide where we'll write code and access both the GPS and the accelerometer. So if you're looking for the documentation, the link is below the video. Thank you for watching Core Electronics.